Hello and welcome to another video. I have an integration problem here and as you know my favorite technique is U substitution and U substitution is going to work for this but I'm not going to use U substitution first. So I'm going to solve it in two ways. The first way will be just simplification, just do some algebra and just integrate. And the second way will be U substitution just as you know. Let's get into the video. If you take a closer look at this problem, you will notice that this is something, there's an, ex, there's an exponent here and you can actually rewrite this to look like this. Look, this integral is the same thing as the integral of 3 to the 4x multiplied by 3 to the 3rd dx, which 3 to the 3rd is a number. Okay, so it's like you're multiplying an expression by 2 or 5 or 7. So I can move this all the way to the back. It's the same thing as 3 to the 3rd multiplied by the integral of 3 to the 4x. And I can also rewrite this expression as 81 raised to the x power. Just look at this. This is the same thing as 3 to the 3rd, which I can write as 27. And then I can write multiplied by the integral of 81 raised to power x dx. And you can see that this is, you can take the antiderivative of this. Generally, remember that the integral of a to the x dx is always equal to a to the x over the natural log of a plus c. This is something you know from your calculus one. Okay, so this, we're just going to apply it to this one. Our answer is going to be 3 to the third multiplied by 81 to the x over the natural log of 81 plus c. And that's it. Um, what else can we do? We can take this back to the form it was originally. This 81 to the x is 3 to the 4x. So this is the same thing as 3 to the third multiplied by 3 to the 4x divided by the natural log of 81 plus c, which we can combine these two and it gives us back what we had originally. So our answer is going to be 3 to the 4x plus 3 divided by the natural log of 81 plus c. This is the answer to this integral. Without using u substitution, it's just antiderivative that we applied. So the second way, which is the first thing I would do naturally, um, until I looked very closely and so it's going to be a number, is to use u substitution. So let's try u substitution and see what we get. Now, if I choose to use u substitution, what would I say? I'm going to say the more complicated portion, the top part is u. So I'm going to say let u be equal to 4x plus 3. That means that du is going to be 4 dx. Just the derivative of this is just going to give me 4. And I can say 1 fourth of du is equal to dx because that's what I want to replace. There's nothing else to replace here. So which implies that uh, 1 fourth du, 1 over 4 du is equal to dx. So I'm going to come back here and say this integral I have on top can be written as the integral of 3 to the u multiplied by, because that's my u, Okay, and I'm going to replace dx with 1 fourth of du, so I'm going to write 1 over 4 du. Well, I can move this 1 over 4 to the back, so it's going to be 1 over 4, and I'm going to have the integral of 3 to the u du. And we're going to apply the same thing. We take the antiderivative of this, and it's just the basic thing we always know. So we're going to have 1 over 4 back here. And inside, it's going to be times 3 to the u over the natural log of 3 plus c. And can we clean this up? Well, this is 1 over 4 times a fraction. So we're going to have 3 to the u divided by 4 times the natural log of 3 plus c. So the question is, is this the same thing as this? Well, what did we say u was? We said u is 4x plus 3. So we can say this is the same thing as 3 to the 4x plus 3 over 
4 times the natural log of 3 plus c. Um, what's different? This is the same as this. We got c. Is this the same as this? Yes, because remember, you can take this 4 and put it here. That's going to be 3 to the 4th, which is the same thing as 81. So you can leave your answer this way. You can leave it this way. Natural log of 81 could be expressed as 4 times the natural log of 3 from your pre-calculus days or algebra 2. Okay, don't stop learning because those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.